Hello everyone, let's start with question number 9, third part. So here we are given with 4x plus 6y equal 15, 6x minus 8y equals 40. So now you can see that the equations are symmetric. That means y is in denominator in both cases. So therefore there is no need to remove denominator here. So what we can do is, we can use elimination method again. So we have 4x plus 6y equal 15 and then another equation is 6x minus 8y equals 40. So I want to make 4 and 6 similar. That means I want to remove them. So for removing them, I need to make them equal. So I can make them 12. So first equation will be times with 3 and the second equation will be times with 2. So that we can have 12x and 12x so that we can eliminate 12x out of this. So equation 1 is times with 3 and equation 2 is times with 2. So the equa equation 1 becomes 12x plus 18y equals 15 into 3 is 45. Then the second one will be 12x minus 16y equals 14 into 2 is 28. So we can subtract the value of 12x and 12x. So it is 0 here. Now minus becomes plus, plus becomes minus. Now we have 18y plus 16y equals 45 minus 28 equals 17. Now we need to add left hand side. So 18 plus 16 is 34y equals 17. Now we need to use cross multiplication to find the value of y. So y will go to right hand side and 17 will come to left hand side. So 34 over 17 is 2. That means the value for y is 2. Now we need to find the value for x. So I will be taking equation number 1 that is 4x plus 6 over y equal 15. Now y is 2. 4x plus 6 over 2 equals 15. Now 6 over 2 is 3. 4x equal 15 minus 3. I will bring 3 to the right hand side. So 15 minus 3 is 12. 4x equal 12. So x equals 12 over 4 and 12 over 4 is 3. That means the value for x is 3 and the value for y is 2. So that's all for the third part and thank you for watching this video. Have a great day.